Hello everyone, this is Martin Meyer from Foundry and welcome to this tutorial where we'll explore the recent updates to Katana's rendering toolset. Katana Foresight brings in a plethora of rendering workflow enhancements that will allow you to harvest most of your hardware while reducing the time needed to explore multiple lighting and look the variations of your work. Thanks to the addition of multiple simultaneous rendering, Katana Q, the built-in FARP system, just to name a few, and the numerous user interface enhancements and optimizations, Katana allows you to fly through your work and explore the impact of your artistic decisions faster than ever. So welcome, and let's have a look at the way these systems can be used. Initially, let's have a look at the way you can use this when you're submitting renders locally. So I can just go ahead and uh, launch a preview render. And then for example, I'll go ahead and tweak my materials. So I'm rendering a red one and I would like to also explore a different version. I can uh, change my materials to, for example, a black version. And then I will launch another preview render. And you'll notice Katana, instead of canceling the previous render, it will continue rendering both renders at the same time. When it's time to quickly explore the impact of a number of graph state variables variations on your scene, or a combination of them, Katana includes a handy script that automates the start of multiple renders at once. You can easily cancel all renders that are currently queued by either using the cancel render button or hit shift escape and that will cancel all rendering that is currently active. To help you get an overview and control of all the active renders, Katana Catalog System received few useful updates. The catalog now allows you to receive live updates of the render progress of each active render process. You can now enlarge the render thumbnails by dragging, all while enabling you to see an overview of all the relevant graph state variables and interactive render filters values on submission by right-clicking. Now that we have few renders going, we can explore the changes we made in detail in the Katana's monitor that allows you to compare a couple of images simultaneously. You can now split the monitor horizontally or vertically, and depending on the area you would like to focus on, you can also sync the scale and position of each rendered image displayed. Working on multiple simultaneous renders locally is quite powerful when making iterative changes to your scenes. For example, you can quickly review multiple scene variations and make educated decisions all based on visual feedback in catalog or monitor. But with various rendering processes active, there is the possibility to ask too much from your local machine at once. To help conduct the rendering processes based on the local or remote resources available, we can now use built-in minimal farm implementation in the form of Katana Q and Katana plugin. So let's go ahead and launch your renders channeled via Katana Q. Right-click on the node to be rendered. Let's move down to Katana Q and choose one of the possible ways to render a scene. Let's try a preview render again. As you can see, not much has changed on the surface and we see our images popping up in the catalog. The difference here is that instead of launching a local render process in this case, Katana will spin up render farm agent per submission on your local workstation and that will be responsible for feeding the results of the render process back to Katana. Based on your configuration, agents can use the local machine or potentially a cluster of remote machines and then feed the results back to the interactive session. Now let's launch a few more render jobs and instead of doing this manually, let's use the multiple render script again. Here we can configure what combination of graph state variables we would like to see rendered. Doing this will alter the potential render count to only the scene states we would like to explore. Let's render all variations of the car's paint job. We can also specify what frame or frame range we would like to see. And from here, we can also choose what mechanism should be used for the multiple render session submission. Once the render jobs are running, the render queue tab can monitor and control your submission's activity and status. You can filter only the jobs with the status relevant to your current task. The jobs can be stopped or restarted at any point directly from the UI as well. One of the local queue system advantages becomes immediately apparent when you want to gain control over the local machine's resources. As you can see, we have submitted five concurrent render jobs, but only two of them are processed simultaneously. This is the default behavior, and initially Katana allows for two agents to run at the same time. Depending on your scene and hardware configuration, it might be a good idea to raise or lower the available agent's number to gain optimal performance. You can change this behavior by setting an appropriate environment variable. The variable we are looking for is KQ number of agents, and as you can see it's set to 2 by default. So for example, if I edit my launcher script and change it to something that would suit my machine better, let's say 8, threats or eight, eight agents at the same time. 
And now if I hit save and relaunch Katana by using my launcher script, you will see that I will have eight agents available to do the rendering on my local workstation. So far, we had a look at the preview rendering and Katana queue submission. Preview rendering is excellent when you need to glimpse multiple snapshots of the scene configuration at the submission time and continue working. For interactive changes to your lights and look development, Katana's live rendering can be used in parallel as well if opted in. By default, live simultaneous rendering is disabled as multiple simultaneous live renders currently share the same initial scene state, so running multiple live renders in parallel only works as expected when you are making changes intended to equally affect all renders. However, this feature can be compelling even in its experimental state as it allows for making sweeping interactive changes across multiple shots or look dev configurations in parallel. Let's have a look at the way we can enable live simultaneous rendering. As with the number of available agents, the access to live simultaneous rendering is controlled via an environment variable. The variable we are looking for in this case is katana override allow concurrent live renders. Let's go ahead and change this to one and then relaunch katana. Now we can start multiple simultaneous live renders either directly or via Katana queue system. So for example, if you use live rendering in conjunction with the start multiple render script, you can work on the lighting of multiple shots or look dev at once. Let's submit all states of our shot variable. Now you can start tweaking the parameters of our lights. And I will speed up the recording a little so we don't have to wait for the rendering processes to start. And you can notice how the changes are interactively affecting the initial scene state through all the camera viewpoints in this case. During this session, we focused on how you can manage multiple simultaneous rendering on your local workstation. That Katana Render Queue is designed to manage network rendering as well. Thanks to the updated Farm APIs, custom Farm plugins can be developed that will allow you to integrate multiple simultaneous rendering to the render farm management software of your choice. If you want to learn more about the built-in farm implementation, feel free to explore the updates to the help files, and Katana also ships with an example of such integration in a form of OpenQ farm plugin that can be found in the plugin examples directory. This concludes our brief overview of multiple simultaneous rendering in Katana. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope the latest addition to the Katana rendering workflows will allow you to get most of your time spent with the application. Have a great day, and happy rendering!